His parents Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have the royal titles of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But for their son Archie, he's plain Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, as he has no royal title. However, this could all change in the future and he could become a prince with a HRH style and it's down to a rule set down more than 100 years ago. But will only happen when his grandfather Prince Charles becomes king. The tradition stems from Harry's great-great-grandfather, George V when he issued a letters patent in 1917. A spokesperson for Debrett's previously told, in 1917, King George V ordered that only the grandchildren of the monarch would be entitled to use the style of prince or princess in HRH. The only exception to this order was that the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales would also be entitled to use the style HRH in prince. This means that only Prince George, as a great-grandson of the monarch down the direct line of succession to the throne, was originally entitled to be a prince. He is the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales. The Queen stepped in ahead of George's birth to issue a letters patent to ensure all the Cambridge's children would have fitting titles. However, this does not extend to Archie and his younger sister Lilibet, although when Charles is king they will be the grandchildren of the monarch and can be styled HRH and prince or princess. It was originally believed that Harry and Meghan were involved in the discussions about how Archie's would be styled, with suggestions they didn't want him to have a title to allow him to have a more normal life. But in their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan said this wasn't the case and said they wanted him to have a title for protection reasons. She suggested the decision may have been to do with race, saying there had been conversations about the color of his skin. However, Debretz explained that Meghan and Harry did have the option to give their son a title if they wanted to. It said, in accordance with the 1917 order, Archie could now use his father's title of the Earl of Dumbarton and could be referred to as Lord Dumbarton. However, it was reported last year that Harry and Meghan weren't keen to give Archie this name. A source said, they didn't like the idea of Archie being called the Earl of Dumbarton because it began with the word dumb. They were worried about how that might look. Another insider claimed, it wasn't just Meghan who pointed out the potential pitfalls, it also bothered Harry. In the other hand, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall has two children with her ex-husband Andrew Parker Bowles, son Tom Parker Bowles and daughter Laura Lopes. When Camilla married Prince Charles in 2005, the future king also became a stepfather to Camilla's two children. And although they are not strictly royal, Tom and Laura could see several changes when their mother is queen consort. Camilla is thought to be incredibly close to her children, and she has often spoken about them and her beloved grandchildren at royal engagements over the years. But Tom Parker Bowles and Laura Lopes are not strictly members of the royal family, despite the fact their mother is a senior royal and, now, a queen in waiting. Tom once said during an interview on Good Morning Britain that he and his sister were not quite part of the royal family to be honest. He joked in 2019, my mother married into it. She's part of it. We're the common children. We're just on the side. Unlike Prince Charles' sons Prince William and Prince Harry, Tom and Laura have no place in the line of succession to the throne. And as they were not born into the royal family, it is unlikely Tom and Laura would ever take on working roles within the firm when Charles is king. Tom and Laura have made some appearances with their mother and stepfather over the years. Camilla's granddaughter, Laura's daughter Eliza Lopes, was a bridesmaid at Kate and William's 2011 wedding. So the public could see more of Laura and Tom and their respective children at royal functions when Charles and Camilla are head of the royal family. While Tom and Laura are not working royals, they will be the children of a future queen consort and the stepchildren of a future king. So when Charles ascends the throne he may decide to bestow new titles on Tom and Laura such as by making Tom an Earl or Laura Countess. But Charles is thought to favor a slimmed-down approach to monarchy, so he may be reluctant to issue lots of new titles as king. Reports have also suggested that Laura could be in line for a title anyway through her marriage to Harry Lopes. Laura married Harry Lopes back in 2006, and he is a grandson of Massey Lopes, 2nd Baron Robborough.